Hello, World Civ classes. Welcome to the finals week. And um, I uh, just want to go over a few details on uh, grading expectations and uh, strategy. So, um, first of all, uh, you'll see that the final is worth 30 points and I have extra credit. The extra credit um, is only 10 points for doing several videos like a normal video notes it is extra and it is a way to cover some more great information of course I know that there there was there's too much that I left out but we have we had a lot to cover and so I hope that this stimulated your interest into wanting to learn more about the world and various cultures one, I would have loved to cover more of Native American uh, cultures of the North uh, American continent. And it's also, that's also a subject matter that I'm trying to work more on and develop myself. Um, so yeah, th there, was, there was quite a bit. And um, <clears throat> anyhow, so the, you'll notice I gave a lot of assignments and this overwhelmed uh, some of uh, you. But then... Uh, what you also realize is that now looking at your grades that gave you the ability to not um, if, if you missed a few assignments you still might have a grade better than you expected now my understanding is still if you go on your canvas grades and you see the final and you put a zero there it can show you what your grade would look like if you didn't do the final now I'm not telling you to not do the final I'm simply saying it's not gonna hurt my feelings uh, ultimately you might be able to still have the grade that you want without it I will not answer I will not respond to any emails or phone calls or texts asking me uh, if what you know if, if, if it's okay you don't take the final and what and will you still get an A that's something that I need you to, to figure out on your own. I'm not going to answer that because I get a trillion different like emails about this. Um, but look, uh, uh, look at it on, on your own and see. And if you decide not to take the exam, what I'd like you to do is just write to me in the exam section and you say, Mr. Pollock, I will not be taking this exam. I'll take the zero. Um, so if you can do that, that is um, helpful, and then you can also immediately see your grade officially. Uh, okay. Now, you, so so this also means that maybe some of you don't need to make up for uh, all of the work that you got behind, even though I'm allowing you to do more uh, work. Um, what I'm trying to make clear to you is that you paid for your education. You know the grade that you really want to get and you know what you want to get out of your education and so um you can try to learn more and get more information just for that for that in of itself or you might just be needing to get a certain grade i'm not here to judge you on what you're doing i was here to try to provide the best high quality education for you and make sure you could get the grade that you deserve okay um so, and, and, and so I want to repeat something that I've mentioned in other uh, um, videos, but uh, I need to make more uh, uh, clear again. Remember, when you look on your grade book, you're going to see assignments that we did not do, that I did not assign, because for whatever reason, Canvas is like a graveyard of my old uh, classes and assignments that I, I, I didn't bring into this classroom. So ignore those. You only need to worry about the assignments that we did each week in the modules uh, links, okay? Um, so um, that's the main thing I wanted to point out about the grades. Also, I'm gonna remind you again that Canvas doesn't always show me when you turn in late work on discussions in uh, um, like make a reply and things like that. So as many of you have realized, um, I'm having students write me and say, Mr. Pollock, you never actually added my grades in. I did go back and I, and I finished that assignment. Canvas isn't letting me know, so I need you to let me know, okay? Now, what I plan on doing is this, is the final is due on Wednesday. Um, I plan on getting everything in, your gr in the grade book finished by Friday. <clears throat> 
And then Sunday, I will put the official, uh, I'll put your grades finally into Pirate's Nest. That gives you a few days from when I announce that, that I'm done grading, excuse me, to look and make sure that the grade seems fair <clears throat> and that you're okay with what the, your grade is going to look like. If you have a problem with what you see, contact me right away. And then Sunday, because uh, uh, um, I'll be working Saturday, but if you've contacted me, especially before, <clears throat> I can go back <clears throat> and, and uh, look at what's going on and get it fixed before I turn it into Pirate's Nest. Okay? So that means I know you're all busy. I want you to be paying attention to this class, looking at your grades until Sunday when I put it into Pirate's Nest so that we don't have any discussion. I don't want to do any paperwork of trying to fix something after the fact, okay? So let's get this all figured out together, okay? Um, and do it on time, and then we'll be good. Um, <clears throat> and so uh, I do want to encourage you, if you are if you really are struggling with something or you have an issue, I'm very approachable. Tuesday, I'll be working from home, and then Thursday and Friday, I'm going to be focusing all on my classes, okay? And, um, and again, the, the final grades will not be put in by me until Sunday, so I just want to make that super clear. <clears throat> and then lastly, I just want to address what we just did in this class. What we just did is we covered a lot of information about world civilization, and I hope that this really, really inspires you to go out and engage and to, to really realize how sad and depressing it is that so many people are not um, aware of all of these things that you are. And remember, I, I, I like to quote, a, I think this might be an exact quote from a, a proverb that uh, Benjamin Franklin wrote, and he said, there's no shame in being ignorant, but unwilling to learn. So we don't need to be uh, you know, annoyed with people. They don't know. They're not exposed. Everybody's working hard. We low quality media. Uh, no one knows what to surf through on the internet properly. So it's difficult. If you've had an opportunity to get some quality education about world civilizations and, and world religions, and uh, you know, you're 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 like me now. You're 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 going on a path. It's it's a lifelong journey. I don't know everything. And I just, I'm trying. <laughs> and some of us try harder than others, and some just don't really care that much. And it's okay. Like, the, like we all are having our thing on, on all this. But, you know, <clears throat> I, I might have mentioned this before in one of the last uh, other videos, but I want to just say this again. This, this great Icelandic expression, heimskurt. And it's a word for when someone's not smart or, or making a, a stupid decision. And it means from home. And uh, why I always say I like this expression, because it's not an insult. And, uh, to me, it's an explanation more than an insult. You can be hyper-intelligent, but if you're not exposed to things in the world, you're going to have a limited perspective, no matter how smart or good-hearted you are. That's just the nature of have being kind of kept down into a limited sphere of <clears throat> a circle of friends, a circle of, of your community, of your nation, uh, all these things, especially when you're such a busy, hardworking person. And so what I try to do is what I want us all to do is to break out of home, even if not just mentally, you know, to try to look and expand uh, 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 beyond um, just so-called common sense understanding of things. And um, look, you know, this is a terrible year. This is a very tough year for those of us here and so many people around the world. And unless you're Jeff Bezos, you probably are having a hard time. Uh, some people are actually benefiting it, uh, from it, like uh, that guy. But, um, you know, I think that this should help us be humble and realize that you can't ignore what's going on in the world. That there are so many uh, uh, um, challenges that are, are integrated, that are a part of the global economy. And there's this constant threat of war always looming. And uh, we, as uh, humble, simple people, simple in the sense that we're not the makers and we're, we're not the, the elites running the world, right? Um, 
but we can think about what we're doing in it. Are we contributing to something positive? Are we actually contributing something negative? Are we playing into the hands of people who are trying to use the masses for their own selfish gain? Um, I don't know, just my thought. Um, in any case, uh, uh, some of you I may see again in some other classes. Uh, maybe someday I'll actually see some of you in real life, uh, person to person. That would be great. And, um, you know, please contact me uh, anytime, uh, even in the future, if you need help on something um, academically or just want to um, go over certain aspects of information again. Uh, I want us all to be lifelong students and I'm going to be a lifelong professor and uh, actually and I'll be a professor and a student both um, you all take care of yourselves and uh, I wish you all the very very best a wonderful holiday as much as possible during this time period be good to yourself and to each other 